I don't understand. How is this even possible? 224 days. That is exactly how long ago Black Ops 3 came out. 224 days. How do I know this? I calculated it right here on my computer. 224 days have gone by and we still don't know how to upgrade this damn wonder weapon. I just don't understand why this is even in the game if it's not even upgradable on Shadows of Evil. Not upgradable on Shadows of Evil? Some of you guys may be asking how that's even possible. Well, let me go ahead and show you guys a quick interview clip with none other than zombie director Jason Blundell and my good buddy NoahJ456. Here's, here's one that doesn't have to do with this map. Sure. The number one question I was asked is... Yes. Is the Shadows of Evil Wonder Weapon upgradable? Um, okay, let me, be, let me be definite and cryptic at the same time. As expected. Yeah. Um, it is not possible to upgrade the Apothecon Servant in Shadows of Evil. What? 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 224 days have gone by since Black Ops 3 has came out and I make this video and we still don't have a legitimate way to upgrade the Apothecon Servant on Shadows of Evil. Now I honestly think the hunt to upgrading this Wonder Weapon has ceased right now within the community, but I remember when Shadows of Evil first came out, there were a ton of glitches that allowed people to upgrade the Apothecon Servant in an illegitimate manner, whether that be going to Pack-a-Punch and Assault Rifle, and as soon as you put the Assault Rifle into the Pack-a-Punch machine, you switch weapons and all of a sudden, it automatically Pack-a-Punches the Apothecon Servant, or if you guys were to use a certain gobble gum and hold the Apothecon Servant, it would upgrade the gun in your hand to a Pack-a-Punched weapon, and that was another way to upgrade the Apothecon Con servant, but again, it just wasn't a real way to upgrade this wonder weapon. 224 days have gone by, and we still don't know how to upgrade this goddamn wonder weapon. So, as you guys heard in the interview, Blundell said that the Apothecon Servant isn't upgradable in Shadows of Evil, and of course what that means is that it's most likely upgradable in another Zombies map within a Black Ops 3, because that wouldn't make sense if it was in a previous Call of Duty, like World at War. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, that's just not even possible. I don't know how they would be able to do that. So the upgrade to the Apothecon Servant is in one of the Black Ops 3 zombie maps that we currently have. Maybe a zombies map that we're going to be getting? Regardless, the Easter Egg Hunt is still on to find an upgrade to this Wonder Weapon, and I don't understand why Cherik have made this upgrade process so damn difficult. In all honesty, I don't think that the Apothecon Servant is an amazing Wonder Weapon. It's a pretty good one to be honest, but there's really no need to go through all of this trouble to actually find a way to upgrade this Wonder Weapon. I'm sure it's just a thing for pride or to actually say that the community was able to upgrade the Wonder Weapon, but in all honesty, it's a good Wonder Weapon, but I really don't think it should be getting all of the attention that it deserves. I don't know guys, it just honestly blows my mind that after 224 days we still don't have a legitimate way to upgrade the Apothecon Servant. Maybe in DLC 3 we're going to be getting a little bit more information regarding how to actually go about upgrading the Apothecon Servant. I honestly think that upgrading this Wonder Weapon is going to be heavily tied to the Apothecans, maybe even the Keepers. I do think that DLC 4 will probably give us a little bit more information regarding upgrading this Wonder Weapon. As much as I want to hope that DLC 3 allows us to upgrade this Wonder Weapon, it will most likely be DLC 4 because I do think that's when a lot of questions will be answered and a lot of loose ties will be brought together and some conclusions will be made regarding the storyline and regarding these Apothecans and these Keepers. But regardless, I really wanted to make this video because as I said, two. 124 days have gone by since the release of Black Ops 3 and the day I make this video. Let me know down in the comment section below your guys' thoughts and opinions on the Apothecon Servant. Make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe. And I'm sure to catch you guys later. Peace.